really necessary. It is for the surprise. Surprises are for little children and adults with little minds. You can't surprise anyone who has the slightest awareness of his environment. Are you aware? Ever since you arrived, you've been craving your favorite sugar-coated breakfast cereal. Yesterday, you received an airmail package from Battle Creek, Michigan. Uh-huh. And today you tell me I have to leave the house because there's a gas leak without even my morning tea. <laughs> so I would say the surprise is going to be an American breakfast for two, complete with coffee, orange juice, and heaping bowls of chocolate frosted cheese chews, or whatever your favorite abomination is called. I can't surprise you, can I? Chocolate frosted cheese chews. Surprise! It's Captain Candy's crunchy cookie from. Oh. My name is Diane Westbury. Give me back my brother, or prepare to die. <gasps> okay, you surprise me. Tell me. Give me back my brother, Derek. Please, calm down. We don't know your brother, but if you just put the gun down, we can relax, have some cereal, and... You heard the lady. Give her back her brother. Oh, what would I be doing with your brother? No! That he isn't a perfectly charming chap. Or he would be, of course, if I knew him, which I don't. But I'm certainly looking forward to meeting with that. Any brother of yours is a friend of mine. I found out about you through your new post office box. New? Don't play the innocent with me. This is the advertisement Derek answered three years ago, the last time I saw him. This doctor seeks individuals' personal experience and supernatural. It's almost identical to ours. You promised him a cure. And then you did something to him. A cure for what? Have you got so many victims you can't remember a werewolf? But we all know that werewolves don't exist. You came home after the full moon. 
naked, covered in blood, sobbing. Well, my brother is gentle and kind. He wouldn't hurt a soul. But you know that, don't you? Miss, we don't know your brother, but we will help you find out what happened to him. We will? We will? We will. We will. Why should I trust you? Because you fired all six of your bullets. And if we had really wanted to have hurt you, we could have. I'm so worried about him. We're twins, you know. I could always tell when something was wrong with him. Something is terribly wrong. He's in trouble. And he's in great pain. Listen, give us a call in two days. And uh, maybe we'll have some news for you by then. Your reward for a delicate situation, beautifully handled. <laughs> no, thanks. I've had my morning pick me up. You're not serious about helping this girl. Come on, you saw how desperate she was. And what if Derek did find a cure? Then it's off to the Marble Hill Sanitarium for us. We can speak to Dr. Hatchard himself. Fascinating man. Takes in the most violent, mentally disturbed indigents and doesn't ask for a penny. So how do you know he took out the end? Because that's where I stole the idea for ours. You know, this is something that requires finesse, tact, Look out! and nerves of steel. So, um, what's your brilliant profession? I'm Dr. Ian Matheson of the university, and this is my patient, Agnes. Agnes? Agnes Ockelman. <clears throat> now, now, Agnes. We don't want another one of those nasty tranquilizers, do we? I'd like to have her committed. What seems to be her problem? She may look calm to you now, but inside she's seething. She's violent, abusive, savage. I've been treating her for years, but lately she's become completely uncontrollable. A shocking case, really. How shocking. She thinks she's a werewolf. Really? Bet you don't see that too often. Do you? Quite common, actually, Dr. Matheson. This is, yes, a woman racked by tremendous sexual desire and, and guilt. So that her repressed lust expresses itself through delusions of, of uncontrollable savagery. My diagnosis exactly. <coughs> Can't take her anywhere without a straitjacket. I shall be glad to observe her for a few days. See if we can help her work through her delusions. Bashing. Uh, did you think this is such a good idea? I think it'll do you the world of good. Get the hot water quickly. Of course, I, I'd like to keep an eye on myself. All right, but we won't say. For a few days. Of course. I'm a big fan of yours, Dr. Hatchard. Perhaps you've read my book on psychosexual sociopathy and its roots in urban societal integration. Dr. Mm -hmm. Matheson, I am a very busy man. Thank you. Is there something more I can do for you? 
How about a peek at your research? Just a little one, you know, one top professional to another. This is a sanitarium. The patients here are subject to acts of extreme violence. It is not an amusement park for bored scholars. The dead. Plenty of beds in there. Pick one. Of course. You'll have to fight Bertha for one. <laughs> Derek, have you? I guess not. This is going to be fun. You hold a very important and influential position. You're the first person people see when they enter Marble Hill. I don't realise what a big job admissions attendant is. A disgrace, a travesty. They just don't know how intimately involved you are in each case. How much you care. So true. You don't know how much it hurts to see those violent, troubled people come in. And they just get worse and worse. Worse and worse? It's awful. Dr Hatchard works so hard. A tireless son. Dedicated man. Was the work especially hard for, for poor Mr. Westbury? But he did. I think he must have cured him. Because I haven't seen him in months. Months? That is good news. But enough of this shop talk. I want to know more about you. What do you say we share some of this fine establishment's culinary delights and then delve into it? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Matheson. Ian. Ian. You swine. Darling! My wife. She loves a big entrance. Your wife? I should have killed you when I had the chance. Oh, look at the time. I must be going. It's been grand. Come along, Agnes. Agnes! Are you out of your mind? You almost blew my cover. I almost blew your brains out. And I will next time if you don't release my brother right now. Look, your brother was cured. He was released months ago. Cured? He's a werewolf. There's only one way to do that. He is alive. I can feel it. I can feel his agony, and you expect me to believe you. Be reasonable. I'll get you proof your brother was cured tomorrow. If you don't like it, you can kill me then. I will. And your friend, too.
Although his blood is thin, I have made some slight changes to the serum, which I think will prove beneficial. No, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. And how's our patient responding to Dr. Hatchard's aggression reduction therapy? Ah, get me out of here. Not very well, I see. Still, definite signs of hostility. And this reluctance to face the world is a, a troubling new symptom. I am hiding, you idiot. Bertha thinks I'm an ostrich, and as long as my head is covered, she can't see me. Good to see you making friends. If you like it so much, why don't you stay here? You wouldn't want me to do that. Not think I have what I learned. Derek Westbury was here. And I believe he was cured. Cured? Cured. I'm going to look for proof. Maybe he was crazy, maybe he wasn't. I'll have the answer very soon. Look, at something strange is happening here. This woman last night, she was dragged away and she was given some kind of shot. And she... Well, she exploded. You haven't let them give you any drugs, have you? Are you kidding? I won't let them near me. Look, just sit tight a little longer. Oh. I shouldn't really be showing you this. A little look can't hurt. But the two cases are very similar. Can I trust you with this? Our first responsibility is to the welfare of our patients, Miss Stowe. If there is something in that poor lad's history that can help me understand my patient and cure her misery, I will be most grateful. How grateful? Passionately. Shouldn't this say more than cured and released? Take me to Derek. Ah. Oh. No. Ah, my assistant is here. <laughs> She's such a marvelous joker. I thought she was your wife. My wife and my assistant. <laughs> we can't stand to be apart. Get your hands off me, you pig. <laughs> Isn't she lovable? Get me security. Take me to Derek. He's clear. 
loose. I can feel it. And he hurts so much. Miss Westbury, if you just take a moment to look at this file, you'll see he's been gone for months, so why don't... Miss Westbury? Miss Westbury? Miss Westbury? Wait! Hours ever so soon. We were just leaving. Leave me alone! There's no need to be so rough! for weeks. Take me to him. Do you know where he is? We'll all see the wolf here someday. Dr. Hatchard said so. Will, will you be my friend? I don't think I'm going to be here long enough. Ian? Wait for me! I guess I could always use a new friend. I like to think of myself as a friend to all my patients, Agnes. Ah. Time for your shot. Here. 
Dr. Matheson, I'm only qualified to administrate admissions, not releases. Professional courtesy demands that Dr. Hatchard release Agnes on my say so. I mean, what harm can it do to let her. to let her out just a few minutes early? I'm sorry, you'll have to wait for Dr. Hatchard. How much longer? Not much. What was it you wanted to see me about? Agnes Ottelman. A fascinating case, that one. Oh, not at all. She's very dull. In fact, I start drifting off just thinking about her. See? I think boring Miss Ockelman and I have taken up enough of your valuable time. If you'll just sign the release papers, we'll leave you to your more interesting patients. Now, there is nothing more interesting to me than a patient who... ...than a patient who needs my help. But, but, but she doesn't. I spoke with her this morning. She's shown remarkable improvement. But she's only been here a day. A miracle! You're a genius! We haven't found the woman, but we've sealed off the grounds. She won't escape. That poor, deluded creature. She needs help. Set the dogs on her. The dogs? If it's all the same to you, I'll just grab Miss Ockelman and <laughs> be on our way. It's not all the same to me. She stays. As her psychiatrist, I object. You are not her psychiatrist, Dr. Matheson. You are a second-rate professor of mythology from a third-rate college. Right. As her husband, I object. Her too. Clearly, he's delusional. Miss Stowe, draw up admission papers for Dr. Matheson. Yes, sir. Hey, wait a minute! I'm not crazy! Oh, dear. He's getting violent. Miss Stowe? Yes, sir. I thought I was alone. I thought... I thought no one could be as cursed as me. You're not alone. Look, we're not alone. It's your sister and Ian. They'll help us. We are beyond any earthly help. How did you become... Peter? Just one more for the road. I stayed until closing. I was walking home. It jumped out at me. 
bones were so... If only it hadn't been scared off, I'd be dead. As I was meant to be. First, I didn't believe it. I couldn't. I thought I was dreaming. Not crazy. But I remembered the killing. The taste of flesh and blood. I remembered liking it. It's not your fault. No? If you read in the paper about a small child ripped to pieces by a savage beast, and if you'd woken up that morning with blood under your fingernails, do you think you could say it's not your fault? No. I came to Dr. Hatchet because I thought anything would be better than that. I was wrong. He cuts me. Bleeds me. Makes me change. Again and again. Day after day. Maybe he's working on a cure. You know, maybe he's already found one. I don't kill anymore. And I'm dying. You could call that a cure. Soon it won't matter. Which is why I'm so glad we have you, my dear. Bring her to me. The dogs didn't get you. The people running this asylum are crazy. Well, what are you waiting for? They thought they could hide you from me. They couldn't. You, you came here to free me so we could help your brother, right? I came to kill you. That was my second guess. Look, I'm not one of the people holding your brother. Look at me, I can't even hold my own nose! I'm sorry. You've lied to me once too often. Thank heavens you've come. There's a crazy woman in here! No kidding. Come on, let's go. Go? Where? The doctor needs you. Those transformations, they look so painful. And the constant fear that must come from never knowing what your other self has done, or will do. What a cursed existence. Is that why you imprisoned Derek? Out of sympathy? I have studied aggression my entire life. I understand violence and the suffering that it brings better than anyone. When I saw what Derek became, I was horrified. Here was aggression taken to the extreme. Aggression so powerful it could literally transform a being into another entity. I saw in this man the, the culmination of my life's work. He's a human being. Is he? Are you? I'm not so sure. What I do know is that both of you are now serving a far greater good. Beats roaming the moors, killing innocent people, doesn't it? So you figured if you could cure him, you could cure violent aggression in all men. 
secure it? Or doesn't it make more sense to control it? To harness it? What government doesn't want the ultimate soldier? What terrorist doesn't want the ultimate zealot? Imagine a serum that could turn an ordinary man into a vicious killer with no morals, no ethics, no qualms. Imagine the prophet. It had crossed my mind. But none of this is possible unless the serum works. Up until now, I have only had Derek's blood, which has worsened in quality along with his health. The results have not been very successful. But now, with your fresh, healthy blood, I expect a radical turn for the better. All we need now is a willing subject. That wouldn't make much sense, now would it? Look, just let him go. You can keep me run all the experiments you want. Are you crazy? I have you already. Just relax. No. No. If this works, you'll have a new playmate. It doesn't. No. Oh well. No. This won't hurt a bit. Oh. No.
A werewolf can only be killed by someone who loves them. Loves them enough to feel their suffering. Do what's right. Andy! window. You're lucky to be alive. Am I? Yes, of course you are. And Eric? Is he lucky too? I guess he found his cure, huh? Have you ever read such garbage? Last week, space aliens. This week, werewolves. What will we think of next? Come on. Is this really what I look like? No, not at all. No, you look much different. Tell me. Well, for starters, you have a, you have a bit more cheek. More cheek? Your hair is longer. Longer. Your claws are sharper. Shoot claws. And you have a much bigger bum. Right. Bigger. Bigger what? Ian?